Hello there, friends, and welcome back to the town of Mirkwood here in Animal Crossing City Folk. We have a beautiful blue clear sky today, and we're going to run around town and find out what's going on here. Olivia's happy as can be. We've got a dig spot already. We're blowing some bubbles. It's going to be a good day. All right, let's see what's in this dig spot. We also need to uh, check and see if Kara has uh, a parasol or umbrella on her because it is the summer sun days and if she doesn't keep that up most of the time, we're gonna end up with a wicked tan. <laughs> so let's see if we have one. We've got some medicine, we've got lots of medicine. She can probably put that other, oh no, we keep that other, uh, watering can she's got two medicines she actually bought an extra one but actually that's good we're gonna keep one of those out because peanut was sick yesterday and we need to check on her all right that's the golden watering can we keep both watering cans because um just in case we need to water some black roses we don't want to turn them gold we've got a few random things <laughs> in the pockets right now that we need to get rid of we'll blow a few more bubbles before we find ourselves a uh parasol we might have to go to nooks to find one we've got a few seasonal items here that kara needs to store too i see we have some watering that we are going to have to do which we may send sunny in to do later depending on how busy we get all right let's see what's in the mail though i bet it's a letter from peaches saying goodbye Today's my last day. I'm leaving Mirkwood. That's some pretty paper. Goodbye, Kara. I hope you won't forget me. We won't forget you, Peaches. We are tossing that letter, though, <laughs> along with the one from Rod. Okay, let's see. We've got some tools in our pocket. Let's, uh, let's start out with a check on Peanut on our way over to Nooks to get a parasol. Whoa, here's another dig spot already. Actually, since we're right here at the house, we should drop off those items that we just picked up to drop those off so we don't have them taking up our pocket space it's a few seasonal items we actually just need to check and see if Kara already has them because if she's already got one in storage and let's just double check what they were exactly so it's an egg toy set a snowman bed okay the two leaves I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any of those um, so we will what is this Nook and go, nook's cranny. Those are all models for the first floor. We got the sweets set. Uh, that's a Sahara wall. Okay, so we do have an egg toy set. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep the second one because I really like that item. Uh, and we we may want more than one. I don't know. All right, we've got some more of the Nintendo themed stuff that's gonna go in her basement once she gets a basement. We have jingle items. We have harvest items lots of that spooky stuff what are we looking for a snowman bed does she not have the uh, snowman stuff she's got the spooky she's got the jack-in-the-box oh maybe she doesn't have the snowman series i wonder who has that interesting hmm all right well we might drop that back outside but we're gonna put these two leaves from uh april fool's day in here okay <laughs> we'll drop the other thing back outside. Someone else must have the snowman series. I don't know who. We'll have to check Lucky and Dubs' storage next time we're in uh, checking on them. But she will leave that out here for today. Hopefully, we've got a visitor in town today. That would be nice. Uh, since wait did we already dig this one up one of these odd dig spots are like kind of all in the same little area today aren't they that's the third one we haven't even got that far from Kara's house yet uh, she might be picking oh look at this we got a new neighbor I was gonna say she might be picking some fruit today to sell let's check this rock first and then we'll see who our new neighbor is and I'm so happy that they moved in right next to Sunny's house uh, both of her little close neighbors had moved out and it, it emptied out her little neighborhood here so i'm happy that they moved back in to that spot oh hang on a second pockets full yeah we knew that didn't we we knew it let's put this stuff away 
And then we can pick up three at a time. Oh, but we can't forget to check on Peanut, too. Let's not forget. We'll keep talking about Peanut so we don't forget to check on Peanut. And her sick little self. Fill in our holes here. I know. I'm dragging it out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see who it is. Who's in here? Knock, knock. Pink house. Green roof. And it is... Oh! Um... Oh, what's your name? What's your name? I can't think of it. Margie! Did I know that? I don't think I would have guessed that. <laughs> Eek, I'm sorry, I'm such a horrible... M oh, it's such a horrible mess in here. I just moved into town and I really haven't had time to get settled yet. My name is Margie. Are you from around here? Well, maybe you can show me around, hmm? And you say your name is Kara? Well, it's nice to meet you. I just know you and I will get along famously. Of course we will. She has an interesting wall and floor combo here. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say they match, but you know what? We'll, we'll judge it when the furniture gets in here. <laughs> All right. She's cute, Margie. Margie. All right, she's a cutie. That'll be fun. Have we had an elephant in town yet? I don't think we have. This might be our first one. And our first uh, rock that we checked was the money rock, so that's super helpful. Oh, here's Peanut's house. Let's see how she's doing. And I saw a weed over there next to her house, too. We're going to have to pull that when we get back out. Oh, she's still sick. Peanut. So totally sick. Think I'm going to, like, horf my lunch. Oh, no. Uh, oh my goodness. She's the first one I think that's talked about throwing up every time we see her. Uh, well, every time we see her sick. She was, said that to Sunny yesterday too. Yeehaw! Down the hatch. Wow, this tastes like felt tip marker. Your crazy medicine better work, Moon Eyes. Yeah, I hope it does, Peanut. You feel better now. Felt tip marker. How do you know what that tastes like? <laughs> Have you been tasting your markers? Oh dear. All right, let's get this weed, and then we'll go over here and get an umbrella. Hopefully there's one that uh, looks good with Kara's outfit. Oh! Not lucky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's weird. That was kind of on the beach, wasn't it? Have I seen those growing on the beach before? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm gonna probably send Sunny in here later anyway. Uh, to buy up all the stuff in Nooks to get her shop points. So, um, regal bed, ship deck, clothesline, red armchair. Yeah, okay, so all of that. Whoops, oh darn it, I always get happy and <laughs> hit the wrong button. We, we did mean to sell it, Tom Nook. Yes, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's get Kara's visitor points, and then we'll probably buy this axe. Because uh, we're still trying to get more gold axes. Even though Kara does already have one. I'll take it. Oh, oh! I was going to say we better buy the medicine, but we don't need to buy the medicine. Sunny needs to buy the medicine, because she didn't replace hers yesterday after I said that she needed to. And then we totally forgot to come and do it, so. <laughs> Kara already has another one in her pocket. Oh, wow, look at that. Big teddy bear. Uh, but yeah, Kara already has uh, a second one in her pocket from the other day, so we're not going to worry about picking that up for her. Uh, we do hope that somebody's in town today. And I'm going to go ahead and start knocking down this fruit, because she is going to come and sell it at some point. Maybe we can pick up a few every time we walk by or something. Make some runs. Make some money. She has got her upstairs paid off. And wait a minute. Did she get a basement? Or are we already paying off her basement? She doesn't have a basement. No. I think we're still paying off her upstairs. It's Lucky's basement that we're paying for. Whew, it's hard to keep that straight <laughs> between all the characters. Yeah, I think I think we're still paying for... Oh, not the peaches, because um, that's our native fruit. I think we're still paying for Kara's 
upstairs. Wow, I, I always forget like how many fruit trees we actually have around here. All right, so that is that. We'll pick that all up later. We don't need to look for any more rocks. We need to look around and see if we have a visitor today. Um, and we'll check in with Broccolo. Melba was not home. Let's see what Broccolo is up to today. I wonder if there can ever be a situation where there's a villager moving in and one moving out at the same time. Does that happen? Probably not. <gasps> he got rid of his big uh, armoire thing. Hey, Kara, it's been a while, Squeaky. Let's see, the last time we talked was the day I had ice cream for breakfast, and that was two weeks ago. So seeing you must mean that it's almost time for me to have ice cream again. I never say no to ice cream. You know what? We forgot to buy an umbrella. Let's go back. <laughs> that was like our whole purpose for going into Nooks and we just sold stuff and got our points and went out of there. Didn't even think about it. Wait, we don't buy umbrellas at Nooks in this game, do we? We buy them at Abel's. So see, we were going the right way anyway and we just didn't even know it. <laughs> Let's go find out what Abel's has. See, now I'm getting confused between games. Because I've been playing the GameCube version some, and in that version, you do buy the umbrellas at Nooks. So you guys probably thought I was crazy. What's she talking about? Buy an umbrella from Nooks. Yeah, <laughs> that's just me and my confusion. All right, so a camo umbrella wouldn't have been our first choice, but it's what we've got today. So, oh, actually, I guess we could, we could have got one of these. This, um, this one on the end has the little house design that we got <laughs> from Wendell. That's, uh, it's interesting. Um, yeah, let's, let's try it. You'll have to erase one of your current designs. I don't think we really have any current designs. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just put it like right here. Enjoy your new design. So now we can see, oh, well, let's go outside where we can actually get an umbrella. Actually, that might work out better for us because we won't have to uh, have something in our pocket then. We could just use the design. So this design is the little house, <laughs> which is super cute. And Sunny colored it in a little bit, added the purple roof because, um, let's see, where as an umbrella. Cool, well that's a little hack there. We can have an umbrella without having a space in our pocket taken up. So super fun. Okay, well, well now we're gonna put down our umbrella so that we can <laughs> throw in this axe and see what happens. Oh, and it is Wednesday, right? In the game, I'm pretty sure, which means we need to go see what Red has in his shop this week. Well, what now? My hair is all frizzed out, my mascara is running, I got a rip in my favorite toga, and to top it all off, people are throwing axes at me. The handle hit me on the head and left a huge bump. You, you're the one who threw the axe, huh? I came out just to see what kind of person throws axes at cute fountain goddesses. Oh, why do these things always happen to me? Bye, there goes another axe. Oh my goodness. Oh, too funny. You know what? I'm really tempted to go back through all the episodes and just count the number of axes we've lost. I know I said that in the last episode. Well, I mean, I didn't say I was tempted to actually go back and count, but um, I did say I wondered. Uh, so we want to wear this again. Okay, let's check the recycle bin while we're right here. See if there's anything in there. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll go talk to Booker and see if he's seen anyone come through today so we know if we're looking for somebody. And if we're not, ooh, we got some stuff. We got a stove and a hibachi. Somebody's been throwing away all their cooking utensil things. Appliances? Yeah, appliances. <laughs> okay, she's got 16,000 bells in her pocket right now. That should be enough if Red has um, the lovely end table for Sunny or a painting. We should be able to buy one or both, hopefully. We're only missing three paintings now, so we're looking for some of the more rare ones. All the ones that go in the back room uh, are the ones that we need. Olivia, did we talk to you already? She's got her parasol too. Hey, Kara, looking good. Do you feel like you're really owning that look today? Absolutely. I'm impressed. Looking good is great for the neighborhood. Okay, if you say so. 
Uh, we didn't see Punchy running around either, so let's go see if Punchy's home. We can talk to him. We like talking to Punchy. Oh yeah, Sunny's definitely gonna have to do some watering today. Always, always. Oh, Punchy's not home. So he's walking around somewhere. We just didn't see him. Have we talked to you, Butch? I think we walked right past you. How do you do? Where do you get all that energy from, pal? You look raring to go. Hey, the town flea market is going down this weekend, right? Holy cow, all the junk I was planning to sell is still covered in an inch of dust and cockroaches. Ew. <laughs> All right, oh, so we have a flea market coming up on the weekend. We should definitely uh, try to do that for sure. Maybe clear some of this crazy stuff out of our neighbor's houses so they can get some new crazy stuff to take its place. <laughs> Are there any scallops down here? We need to find some more for dubs. We might do uh, some seashell runs too in all our running around. All right, we didn't check with Booker, but I haven't seen anyone walking around. I feel like if there was someone here, we probably would have seen them by now. Uh, but we do have to go back up to the bus station to go to the city, so we'll try to remember to check in with Booker when we go back up. Oh wow, hi Kara, I haven't seen you in like forever. You look totally good, yay you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Wait a sec, are you like all tall now, Kara? Or did you just go out and buy some of those crazy shoes with stilts in the heels or whatever? Um, do we look taller? <laughs> I guess that's a compliment. Okay, see you later, Bella. We're gonna go see if we can find Punchy. Or a visitor, or <laughs> I don't know, somebody. We're, we're looking for somebody. Do you do any of these scallops? White scallops, that's not the kind we need. Let's see, we already checked in with Peanut. We haven't talked to Kitty though, either, and Kitty. Kitty's house is kind of on the way to where we're going, so we'll check in with her. And we haven't seen Melba. So yeah, we've got, you know what? Let, let's do a pocket full of fruit before we run up to the city, just in case that lovely end table does happen to be there and does happen to be really expensive or something. All right, wait a minute. What else do we have in our pockets? Oh, fossils, okay. Uh, let's go get those assessed too. Then we'll have the money from those as well. Do, oh, there's Melba. Let's talk to Melba. She's got her parasol too. See, these villagers are setting a good example for us. <laughs> They're telling us, get your parasol out. You don't want to get too tan. Well, well, Kara, where have you been hiding? Have you been off on a trip or something or were you avoiding me? Neither of those. If nothing else, Kara, I'm happy to see that you're okay. Aw, thanks, Melba. That's so sweet. Okay, let's get up here to the museum. Maybe Punchy's hanging out by the museum today. We haven't been over that far to the left. Wait, did I just hear a balloon? No. <laughs> but it gave us an excuse to look at the pretty blue sky again. Woo, I don't think I've seen it this clear in a long time. And that is like an intense blue. There's Punchy. He's looking in there like he wants to go in. Oh, Kara, funny meeting you here. Hey, I have to tell Sunny something, but I'm worried I might forget to do it. Think you could give her the message for me? Then it won't matter if I space on it. All right, I'm getting I'm getting my pencil here. <laughs> so we can tell Sunny that Punchy said, I knew I could count on you. Would you please tell Sunny that I want to talk to her about fashion choices? Fashion choices. We have to get that exactly right or he won't tell her. And please be sure to say exactly like I just did. Well, that's it. Thanks a lot, Kara. Okay, we will. All right, Um, actually, there's all these other fossils over here. Huh, we might have to do, oh wait. How much stuff can we fit up in here? Let's fit a few things up here and then we can at least pick up three more of the fossils. Ah, excuse me, Punchy. We'll just take those three and maybe deal with those other two later. Because we've got a pocket full of stuff. Always a pocket full of stuff. Blathers, wake up. We have fossils to assess, because we need bells. Check a fossil. All right, we're hoping for T-Rex parts, so keep that in mind. Give them a good look. Make sure you're doing this correctly. <laughs> What do we have? An ankylotail. All right. 
We do have more. How about this one? See, we got like four fruits in our pocket. We just get distracted in the middle of everything that we're doing. It's fine. Coprolite, ew. Not what we wanted. We have to clean our pockets after that. <laughs> okay, I guess it's like petrified or whatever, so it's not really like... It's just like a rock. Mammoth skull. That's a pretty good one. It's too bad that they don't like let each of the characters fill a museum. I think that would be fun. But I can see where that would be like kind of weird. <laughs> Why do we have four identical uh, fossil exhibits? Here you go, Blathers. We got another one. A Peking man. All right. All right, one more. And you know what? I don't think we've ever had a time that we came in here and got fossils assessed and had two of the same fossil in the same pocketful, which is just, you know, an interesting observation. <laughs> But cool. Although maybe we have. I don't know. I know. I know for sure we have in um, New Leaf. I think in New Leaf we took him in one time and that we had like three saber tooth skulls in the same pocket full. And there, we didn't even have that many fossils. So the saber tooths must have been uh, plentiful in those parts. <laughs> but it seems like in City Folk here, every time we go in, there's just a bunch of whole different ones. Which makes sense, because we dig them up all over. Okay, so we talked to Melba now, and we talked to Punchy now. Have we talked to everyone? No, we haven't talked to Kitty yet. So we gotta stop by Kitty's house on our way up to the bus station. Browse all you like. We will. We got some dinosaur bones for ya. And we're gonna sell that camo umbrella. Now that we're using the one uh, from our designs, which... I don't know. Seems pretty smart to me. <laughs> we don't even have to use the same design every time. We can have a different umbrella every time we pull one back out. If we wanted to. In fact, why don't we change it right now just for funsies? Alright, so the house one is kind of cute. It, it's very um, busy. <laughs> uh, we don't really have anything else fun though. We can just make it plain orange. To go with her hat. <laughs> yeah, that's not very fun at all, is it? Yeah, I'm switching it back. <laughs> I'm switching it back. I like the fun one. We'll have to get her some more fun designs. We'll have to see if we can come up with something. Give her some more fun designs. This one's got a little bit of grass in the corners around the little house. Like, if you didn't know that was a house, though, you probably wouldn't recognize it as that. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta stop by Kitty's house first. Kitty, what are you doing today? Has she replaced any more of her red armchairs with something else yet? Let's see. <laughs> nope, she's still got one, but she's got a lawn chair in here now. Okay, fun times. So she replaced her... She had another table there, I think. Oh, is that really you, Kara? I haven't seen you in ages, or at least a week or three. So you haven't been around. Did something happen? Well, whatever it was, I'm just happy to see you looking well. Thanks, Kitty. We're happy to see you looking well, too. Although we do have a few things to say about your decor choices. <laughs> What's with the dinosaur skull? Oh my goodness. It doesn't seem like it would be on the list of refined weekly, you know? <laughs> All right, let's get up to the city and see what Red's got in his shop today. I'm gonna get out my uh, my list of paintings that were... Uh, I have the list of paintings that we already have. So if we see one in there and it's got a name that's not on the list, we'll know we need to bring it home. Oh, we got a little bit of rain here in the city. Just a little bit. The sky's still blue though. A little bit of clouds. This is the kind of weather, when it happens in real life, I go out looking for a rainbow. 
Okay, yeah, everybody's got their umbrellas here. Not because of the sun, but because of the rain. I put on my Sunday best to try and impress everyone here. But I'm still afraid that everyone can tell I'm just a small town girl. There's always a small town girl walking around the plaza here. Peggy, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, the other day I totally got my shoes shined here. Yay, my shoes are so happy now, sweetie. You know what? Lucky's shoes are so happy now, too. We should try to get um, Kara's shoes done one day, although uh, Kix isn't here today, as he you know. He's not going to be out here in the rain. So, wait. We have four. Yeah, okay. We have four emotions. No need to go <laughs> to the theater. Whoa there, friend. What? Old Red doesn't recognize you. Did we do this last time? Oh, wait. We do have an invitation. That's right, because last time this happened, we had Sunny send her an invitation. So now she can get in. You were referred by Cousin Sunny. Okay. Whole different kettle of fish. Come on in. Wait, is she going to have to pay some kind of fee now to join the club or whatever? <laughs> I think it's going to be like 3,000 bells or something. Well, no lovely end table again. Darn. <laughs> All right. Yep. 3,000 bells. Good thing we sold that extra stuff. We're an official member of the Reds family. Good stuff. Crazy prices. All right, welcome aboard, cuz. <laughs> you can't believe deals like this. Okay, that painting, I'm like 100% sure we already have. So we're not gonna buy that. Um, it's the scary painting. Yeah, we definitely have that one. It's on the list. Do we need to buy this cabana bed though? Because I feel like, let me see if it's on the list of red exclusives. Cabana bed, it certainly is. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna buy that and we're gonna leave it for Dubs because Dubs has the cabana furniture in his house. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, he, yeah, he has the cabana furniture and he's actually gotten a couple new pieces lately because we just got him a cabana lamp that he didn't have and now he'll have a cabana bed which he can replace the pineapple bed that he has at the moment. And then maybe he'll start getting a little better score from the HRA. Which, let's just dip into the HRA and see if Sunny's princess room is still the room of the day. The week, the month, the year! <laughs> it seems like it's always the one now. Although, I don't know, she's got a lot of Gracie Grace furniture in her front room now, so there's a possibility that it's overtaken. Let's find out. And they do have different criteria every month. But I still feel like, nope, still the princess room. This one qualifies for everything, apparently. All right, well, it is a pretty room. We gotta give it that. It's a nice one. We like it a lot. We never see it, though, because we never go in Sunny's house or go upstairs. <laughs> if we do go in Sunny's house, we don't go upstairs. So it's kind of sad that there's not more stuff that you can do inside the houses in this game because, you know, I feel like we decorate the houses even in New Horizons. Oh, there's kicks. We decorate the houses and then, um, you know, we just, we don't go inside and see our nice work all the time. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, please do. One first class shine coming right up. Um, let's try style first. That's what got Lucky her green shoes on the last one. I don't know what color we're looking for for Kara. Maybe just something that matches better than bright red. Nope, that kept it right for bright red. Okay, shiny's a brass whistle. She's promised me you'll come again. She's gonna do the same thing that Lucky did and just dip in the building and try the other option. Since we did it by style, we'll try it by color and see if we get anything different. Um, I think there is like a pair of just little black shoes that might not look bad with her stuff. Or brown shoes. Are there brown shoes? I'm not 100% sure. Brown shoes would look. Because she's got kind of a fall look going on. And that's what we're going for here. So we'll try it again with color. See if it changes anything. Now the only time that you can get this done a second time is if he doesn't actually change the color of the shoes the first time. Okay, that's cute. We got some cute little orangey shoes. Pretty doggone dapper if I do say so myself. 
So if he had charged us the first time, we wouldn't have been able to do it the second time. All right, so let's look. Those are kind of some little, um, oh, what do you call those? Oh, I can't remember the name of them. The shoes that has like the different color down them. Is it saddle shoes or something? Is it, is it that or are they like little sandals or something? I can't really tell. They're so small. <laughs> but they do match a little better than those bright red ones, which is good. Oh, let's talk to Mo and Maple because they're too cute. Based on my spying, it seems like the entire town of Hometown is crazy about fortunes and charms. Or maybe Katrina is just giving out free samples of gazpacho. Oh. I'm not sure I've ever had that before. <laughs> I walked around too much. Now my shoes are all dirty. As long as I'm here, I figure I'll just get my shoes shined clean before I go home, honey. You do it. Mabel, you're so cute. I love her little outfit. She needs shoes the color we got. <laughs> Bus to Mirkwood. Want to go to Mirkwood? Take me home. Yes, we do. It must have been right on the end of some rain when we got here. Which makes sense. Because I think if we look at the clock, we will see that the hour just changed. <laughs> but um, I didn't even hear the chime up in the city. Maybe we got there right after it happened or something. Although I feel like we've been there more than six minutes. So probably went off while we were there and we just totally didn't hear it. Let's just double check with Booker to make sure there's not somebody visiting today and we missed them in a corner somewhere. And maybe there'll be something good in the Lost and Found today too. If not, Kara's gonna go do some fruit runs and make some money so, uh, to pay on her house. What's new? Okay, no one went through here. All right, well, we ha we just haven't had very many visitors lately. Do they just not like the summertime or what? <laughs> All right, we currently have nine items in the Lost and Found, and Su uh, Sunny just cleared this out the other day. There's a computer and a couple of pitfall seeds we'll take. Uh, we'll get some of this geometric paper. We'll just take some out of there so that there's some room in there for new stuff to spawn. We're just going to go take some of this to the recycle bin real quick and then go pick up all that fruit we knocked down earlier and make some bells. I would do the fruit first <laughs> so that we only have to go in the town hall once. However, we're going to need that pocket space for picking up the fruit. So, got to get these things out of here. All right, just put these pitfall seeds and this invitation from Red that we're not going to need. Uh, we'll leave the cabana bed for dubs and we're gonna risk a little bit of sunshine here by carrying our bubble wand for a minute to get that out of the way <laughs> uh, so what was this cabana bed and computer so we're just gonna sell that we're gonna drop this up here for anyone that wants to write a letter later Bubbles. <laughs> I love the bubbles. It's such a fun little thing. And I love that in City Folk, they never run out. She can blow as many bubbles as she wants. And that is one of the fun little items that we got from Phineas up in the city one of the days that he was there. Okay, let's get down here and pick up some fruit. This is just going to be picking up fruit for a few minutes. <laughs> Which is not super exciting, I know, but paying off our debt is super exciting and getting more rooms is super exciting. And then once we get that done, maybe we'll go put our Legend of Zelda items into Kara's upstairs because that is where they're going to go. And I was kind of waiting until we got the wallpaper and floor, but you know what? We can get the items put out there. We're going to have to wait on Sahara for the wallpaper that we're looking for, the Meadow Vista. So there's no point just her not having any furnishings in her house just because we can't get the wallpaper that we need. Sell all of this. 6,980 bells. Nice. All right, so we're already up to 30,000, which is pretty good. And maybe we will just drop this uh, slingshot right here on the ground because we're gonna be right in this area so if something should happen to fly by 
we can just run over and grab it real quick. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know if we're that quick, but we can try. Well, I don't know what kind of chances we have of seeing something like that. All the time we've been playing. We've seen Gulliver one time, and we missed him. Which was too bad. Who was playing? I think it was Sunny. And we were just too slow. R went the wrong way, I think is what it was. We should have run to the right for when he came back across, and we tried to follow him, and it just... We missed him. Totally missed him. That was back in the winter time, I believe. It seems like such a long time ago, and we're not too, too far from it being winter again before we know it. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> we'll just enjoy what's left of summer. Oops, sorry, Tom Nook. I was just kidding. I don't have anything left to sell. We gotta go pick up some more. More uh, oranges and apples and peaches. Oh, there were some peaches in that pile, weren't there? I, I guess I did knock down some of those. Oh, and we didn't knock down these apples or these oranges. That's weird. How did we miss those? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hey, there's Frobert. We haven't talked to him today. How did we miss him? Is there an apple right behind this tree? Nope. Okay, I guess we got it. Frober, what's up, dude? Well, well, look at this, a new face. Oh, Kara hasn't even met Frobert yet. So you're a Mirkwood native, right? I just moved into town. Nah, ha, ha the name's not Muscles McLacross. Ha, ha, I'm Frobert. I'm feeling kind of foolish because I moved here without knowing anything about this place. Same, dude. If you see me wandering around like a newbie, help a dude out. I, I feel like that's just what people do here. They just get on the train and it's like, you know what? Let's just get off here and make a new life. <laughs> And then you work for Tom Nook and you do all the things. It's kind of fun. And at the end, you get a flag for your house. <laughs> That's the story. <laughs> the life story of everyone in Mirkwood. Okay. Oh, it's too bad that the villagers don't get flags for their house. I mean, I feel like if they are here for a certain amount of time, we should just assume that they've paid off their debt and they should get a flag. That seems fair, doesn't it? <laughs> like, some of these villagers are like Punchy. Punchy's been here forever. Uh, Peanut's been here a good long time. Who else has been here for a while? I, I feel like Melba's been here... She's been here a while, not as long as Punchy and uh, Peanut, but yeah, we've had we've had quite a few villagers come through, but we do have a few that have been just hanging out here, staying around, and I feel like they would have had their debts paid off by now, especially without adding upstairses and basements and stuff, you know. Did we get all the fruit back here? We'll just do a, a quick check and <laughs> make sure we didn't miss any. Okay, looks like we got it all. But yeah, that's too bad that you can't have flags for your villagers. That would be fun to design too. Oh, pocket's full again. Or maybe if they lived here for a certain amount of time that they just, you could make them a permanent resident or something. Like, now Punchy can never leave. But he doesn't seem to be in a hurry to leave anyway. And now watch, because I said that. He's going to be the next one that's like, I'm thinking about moving. Don't do it, Punchy. <laughs> Don't you do it. Butch has been here quite a while, too. But he definitely, yeah... I, uh, I want to say Punchy may be the only one that's been here since we started the series last July. I would have to go back and check. Back to episode one. <laughs> 
You guys can let me know. You probably know better than I do. All right, a few more cherries and we will call it done. All right, if we had two spaces left, I was going to knock down those coconuts, but we only have one. So Frobert, check out our bubbles. <laughs> He's just going to walk right into us. That's fine. And one more pocket full to sell and then we're going to go make a payment. Welcome. Browse all you like. We're not browsing, we're selling. Oh, and there's purple paint for sale again today. Just cool. Click, 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 click. <laughs> All the little clicking. Um, okay, that is it for today, Tom Nook. Thank you very much for your help. We got up to 58,000, so she'll probably pay 55,000 on her debt. We'll leave her a little bit of pocket money. Oh, you know what? We said we were going to pick up some seashells too, so why don't we do. One pocket full of seashells, and I know we're leaving our slingshot way up there. We'll just do one quick pocket full of seashells, and then we'll go pay. The, this isn't going to add much <laughs> to our total, but that's okay. We just want to keep picking these up if we're thinking about it, so that we can get some more scallops. As Dubs is trying real hard to get that ship, ship wall, or wallpaper i don't really know what it's called <laughs> but um that's the one he needs to go in his basement with all the other pascal items all right how much space do we have left now we have oh four more spaces wow you can pick up a lot of seashells when your pockets aren't full <laughs> almost the whole beach worth all right we're not even going to go to the end to see if there's one more down there we're just going to say we got the whole beach worth <laughs> See ya, Olivia. She's checking out the roses. Checking on the roses. I don't think I've ever seen a villager watering flowers in this game. I've seen them watering flowers in other games. I've seen them planting flowers in New Leaf. Oh. Um, we do not have space to pick that up yet. Okay, let's sell this. <laughs> and then we'll grab it and then we'll go pay some money. I can't remember how much she had left to pay. I feel like it was more than 55,000 though. All right, we're gonna sell some seashells, Tom Nook. Make yourself a nice seashell necklace or something. Lots of sand dollars. Okay. It would be cool if there were like certain items that only showed up in the shop after you sell a bunch of seashells to Tom Nook, like something made out of seashells. <laughs> uh, all right, we're having way too many thoughts today about stuff they will never add to this game. <laughs> or any game. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a leaf bug. Okay, bye. Oh, what's, what do we got going on? Quick question for you, Kara. Do you know what a vertigo shirt is, Moon Eyes? Um, yes. Really? So you've heard of it before? Because I just got my hands on a Vertigo shirt myself. It's surprisingly nice. I was actually going to recommend that you get one too. If you spot one somewhere, be sure to pick it up. You won't be disappointed. Okay, interesting. Um, you wanted to know if we heard of it just so you could tell us to get one. I thought she was going to ask us to find one for her. And then I thought she was going to give us one, but no, she was just telling us we need to get one ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Melba. That's too funny. The villagers in this game are so funny sometimes. Oh, we're up to 60,000 now. All right, pay mortgage. How much we got left? Oh, we have a lot left. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's do 58,000. Oh, no, no. No, what did I just do? What did I just do? I think I paid zero. <laughs> okay. 58, one, two, three. There we go. Then that'll get us a nice even number. 180,000. Okay. That's what we still owe. Wow, she owes a lot more than I realized. 
Anything else new show up in here? No. Okay. All right. Let's take ourselves down to this little bridge here because we get a nice view of the sky from this spot. It's one of my favorite spots in Mirkwood. All right, well, we are going to call it done right there today, guys. Uh, Kara got some of her debt paid off, and we didn't get a new painting or anything fun from Red, but it's like that sometimes. Uh, still had a nice cozy day here in Mirkwood, and thank you so much for joining me and Kara for that. I do appreciate you for being here, and if you would take a moment to click that like button, that would really help out. And also, if you're enjoying this nostalgic Animal Crossing series, why not click subscribe as well and turn on those notifications so you can be sure to join us for the next one. I will see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.